there, super coders. Welcome to Nova's Scratch Lab. And I'm Pixel, your brainy and sometimes bouncy coding buddy. Before we started here are some cool words that you should know. Hey Pixel, what's up? Why are you swirling around like a tornado? Hey Nova, guess what? I've got an awesome idea. Let's make our sprite move like this. Oh, that's so cool. How do we start? We start with this block, the green flag starter. Oh yeah, that's like saying lights, camera, action. It kicks everything off when we click the flag. Now we need a loop. This repeat 20 block says, like jumping 20 times or clapping 20 times. Exactly, but our sprite will spin and grow instead. Turn 30 degrees, this block spins the sprite 30 degrees like a quick twirl. And change size by 5%, this one makes it grow 5% bigger every time. So it's like twirling while puffing up like a balloon? Totally. Let's also add a quick pause so we can see the animation clearly. Wait, wait. I will tell you the next block. Wait 0.02 seconds. This tiny weight makes the spin smooth, not super fast like a blink. So now it spins and grows slowly like a power-up animation. Now we do the same thing in reverse. Spin the other way and shrink. Oh, so it's like rewind, spinning backward and shrinking again. Which block makes the sprite grow bigger? A, change color by 25. B, change size by five. C, say hello. It's change size by five, the balloon block. Now I want to make this sprite talk, but one letter at a time like a robot message. Same start, the green flag says go. We'll make two variables. Text equals starts empty. Original text equals the full sentence like hello scratch. So the full message is hidden and we slowly reveal it? Yep, like slowly flipping tiles on a mystery board. But Pixel, we need another helper variable, X. It tells us which letter to pull out, starting from letter one, right? Yes, so X is like a finger pointing at the letters H, E, L. First, we bring in set X to one. This tells Scratch, hey, let's start from the first letter of the sentence. Think of X like a pointer finger tracing a book. We're telling it to start at the beginning, well, page one, letter one. Without this, our sprite might get confused and start somewhere in the middle. Now we can add set text to to empty. We're saying start with a blank page. This block clears the chalkboard before writing anything new. Imagine trying to draw a new picture over an old one. Messy, right? So this block gives us a fresh space to build the message. Got it, Pixel. Now I'm going to add the repeat block. How many times should it repeat? 10 times or maybe five? Wait a sec, before we dive in, we need to give our text something to say. Let's use this block, set original text to. Try adding hello scratch as an example. To find out how many times we need to repeat, just count the letters in hello scratch. There are 12, so we'll set the repeat block to 12. Oh, here comes the heart of our typewriter effect. Set text to join text, letter X of original text. Let's unpack it. Letter X of original text grabs the X letter, just like picking the next magnet letter from a fridge. Join adds that letter to what we've already typed, like adding the next bead on a bracelet. All right. Time to level things up with the set X to X play, one block. This little block makes X grow by one every time, like a counter going up, one, two, three, and so on. Now your sprite becomes the narrator. Say text. This makes the sprite speak the sentence so far. Imagine reading your message out loud. Time to add some drama. Wait 0.5 seconds. This little pause creates the typing rhythm like an old-fashioned typewriter going click-clack. It makes each letter feel deliberate and cool, not just poof all at once. You can speed it up or slow it down by changing that number. 
Which block glues one letter to another to build a word? A, join, B, bounce, C, spin. Let's review what we built today. A zoom spin effect using repeat, turn, and change size. A typewriter text using letter, join, and say. This was awesome. I feel like I made my sprite come to life with just a few blocks. You sure did. What should we animate next? A blinking light, lightning zap, glitch sprite? Yes, yes, yes. But first, like, share, and subscribe to Supercoder Kid. See you in the next tutorial. Happy coding. Hi.